How's it going my friends? This is Mark with IAppleTech128 and today we're going to be showing you how to set up the original Pebble. So keep in mind that this is going to be for the iPhone only because we're um, an Apple channel. So first thing you want to do is open up the App Store and type in Pebble in the search field. Once that loads up, you want to look for the one by Pebble Technology. There's a whole bunch of other ones, but make sure it's this one. Then you can click that free button, install. You may need to enter your Apple ID, and it will download. Once that's downloaded, you want to head on over, unlock your device, and then you want to open up the Pebble app. So once we open up the app, we get the option to pair, or not pair, but select your Bluetooth. So we'll hit cancel and enable Bluetooth, and now we can continue. So you want to click start, assuming you already have a Pebble. And if you're a new user, you can fill out the form. If not, and you have an account, you can sign in right there. So I'll just enter in my credentials real quick. And we can just click log in. Now it's going to ask you to use the location for Pebble apps. It will use location. Um, you can say not now or continue. Not now will just um, turn it off automatically, but you can change that under the settings for those individual apps. Let's click not now and I want to keep in mind until you right now I've kind of gone through this before once and it asked me to enable push notifications I enabled that um, for some reason it asked me again later on so keep in mind that you may need to fill out that first so now we can just go ahead and click continue and then let's head on over to our pebble so now on our pebble we can hold down any power button any button will turn it on and then it will tell you where to get your app from we've already done that so now we can head on over to our iPhone and click the button when it says select an accessory. That will be mine, Pebble 7985, and then select pair. And then we can select the check to pair it with your device. And then it says success, we can click continue. And then it's, for me, I need to update it for you. You may not need to. So click continue if you have this. And then check now for your updates. And then it will download and install that update. It may take a little bit though. So once that's done, we can click continue and then enable notifications. I've done this before. It asked me again. And then you also want to pair this one as well. It kind of has like two little pebbles, I guess. So um, pair that one as well. And then we can send tests, text messages, and phone calls if you want. But I didn't really do that. So there you have it. We successfully set up our Pebble and updated it to version 2.0.1. If you guys have any questions on how to do this, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We're always willing to help. If this was helpful and you like this, don't forget to hit that like button. Subscribe for more Pebble videos, and I'll see you in the next one.